Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you some ideas as to how you can use the algebra tiles in Polypad to represent addition of sign numbers. So we can see there's the one algebra tile and then the negative one algebra tile. So I brought them both on the canvas. And the core idea of this is that when you drag one on top of the other, it makes a zero pair. So negative one uh, and one make zero. So I'm going to first choose the the grid background here. It helps me see the groups of, of each that I have. And I'm going to make a group of 10. I'm using the copy shortcut on my keyboard. I could also go down here and copy. Either way, there's five. I'll copy all those to get a group of 10. I think I missed one, but I can just copy that and make a 10. So then to get negative 10, I could do the same thing. I also want to share with you that if I copy these, it looks like I have two groups of positive 10, which I do, but there's a negate button when an algebra tile is highlighted. And if I click that, it makes a group of negative ones instead of ones, which is a nice feature. So here we have 10 and negative 10, and uh, I'd be doing this as a whole class discussion at this point. You could decide if you would want kids doing this on their own canvas at the same time or just watching you do it on the uh, on the board. And I would ask students, uh, a student in class to choose a number of positive ones. Maybe a student would choose five, and I would drag the five down here. And then I might ask a student to choose an amount of negative ones. Maybe a student would choose negative three, and I would drag those down here. And I would ask them to make a prediction as to what would happen when I drag the negative ones on top of the positive ones. And they might um, offer some ideas as to what what might happen on Polypad, and then I would do it, and we would see that the three negative ones and positive ones make three zeros, and what we have left is positive two. I might then go to the text tool and represent the question that we had here, which was five plus negative three equals two. Oh, equals two. Uh, I might show them how you can use the pen tool, maybe make a box around this example just to separate it from the rest of the work that we're going to do. Uh, I might ask students, uh, then I, I might do another example, ask students to pick a number of negatives. What do I have here? Negative eight, it looks like. And then maybe a student would pick positive three, do one more with them where we drag the positive three on top of the negatives and then represent this as a question. I have negative eight plus three left negative five. And again, if we wanted to separate this, we could draw lines around it really nicely. So at this point, I would stop the whole class discussion, send students off on their own polypad, and have them do a number of examples of their own. Have them create any, any questions that they want, making sure they represent it with the algebra tiles. Some students might have fun making really large numbers. They could you know, make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pretty quickly. And then once they have 50, if they wanted to copy those, right, it's uh, pretty quick to make large numbers with the number tiles. Uh, but they would go off and do a bunch of questions, both uh, with the visual representations and then showing the calculation that they had created. So that would be like an in-class activity. And then as a follow-up assignment, I made a, um, a canvas in Polypad. Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave this one. Thanks for asking me. And so here is an example of an assignment that I might give, either as a follow-up in-class assignment, maybe a, uh, a homework assignment for students, where there are some questions at the beginning where I'm asking them to use the number tiles to visually show the calculation and show their answer. So while students maybe could do some of these in their head without the number tiles, I think it's important to build up the concrete representation of these and have students use the number tiles at the beginning. I've then followed up with some questions where I've given them the number tiles and they need to show the question being represented and then the answer, right? So as they're solving this one, they would just move these over and see what happens. I think there's great value in students seeing that um, as it goes on. And then finally, some questions at the end where they could use the number tiles if they want or they could try to 
do the abstract calculations, right? So good examples here, I think, of moving from the concrete to the abstract on these ideas. There's all sorts of ways to share this Canvas with students through a link, through Google Classroom, through classes you've created in uh, Mathagon, uh, at mathagon.org slash teachers, which you can see here. There's all sorts of videos on how to do that, how to create classes, how to share the polypad, and how to assign it in Google Classroom. So check those out if that is of interest to you. Thanks for watching. Hope this gave you some good ideas about how to use the algebra tiles to represent adding and subtracting signed numbers. Thank you.